Tesla and Solar City power an entire island. Munchery gets a new CEO. Robots will be greeters at SF Mall and more. It's Tuesday, November 22nd, and this is Crunch Report. What is up, Tech Crunch Land? It's Tuesday. You want some news? Because I'm serving it hot. Tesla and Solar City are now one company, and they've already completed one pretty cool project. The small island of Tau in American Samoa used to get its power from burning fossil fuels like a diesel generator. Now, thanks to both companies, it powers its entire grid using solar power. Pretty impressive is that the Tesla batteries can be completely powered up with only seven hours of direct sunlight onto the solar panels and last for three days, cutting out the reliance on diesel and transportation costs. Really cool stuff. Now, let's get a test implemented in a high population area. Then we can be like, suck it, global warming. Apple will again participate in this year's Black Friday shopping event after having famously sat out last year. Then, touting its decision as being part of its mission to be good to employees. The new site doesn't detail what deals will be available, but does promote the company's Apple Store app and free two-day delivery, while also encouraging consumers to check out their local store's extended hours. Part of the deal is free shipping on orders placed before 5 p.m. and two-hour shipping in select markets thanks to Postmates. You know what would be awesome? If someone replaced those super aggressive mall kiosk workers with robots, sometimes it's just too aggressive. While those kiosk workers aren't going anywhere, some lucky shoppers will be greeted by robots to start their holiday shopping experience. Shoppers at Westfield's San Francisco Center or Westfield's Valley Fair in the Bay Area will be able to play games and take selfies with SoftBank's Pepper Robot, proving that even expensive electronics aren't exempt from the doom of underemployment. By December, Pepper will be allowed to direct shoppers to stores and restaurants. Yo, Pepper, can you find me a store that has a Nest Classic in stock? I'm sorry, Tito. I'm afraid I can't do that. Useless. Michigan is rapidly trying to get ahead of the move to autonomous cars before it gets left behind by Silicon Valley tech companies. First, University of Michigan opened up its self-driving test facility, M-City, to help facilitate the testing and training of autonomous vehicles. Then, Flint's Kettering University led an effort to build another testing facility. Today, workers broke ground on the American Center for Mobility, a 335-acre testing facility located at Ford Motor Company's Willow Run facility. Computer vision is a far cry from the World War II aircraft manufacturing the plant is known for, but it turns out that the facility size is incredibly useful when you're trying to build a fake city from scratch. Uniquely, the new center is set to bring together researchers, product developers, and educators to help set standards for a future without human drivers. I love food delivery startups, mostly because I like being fed, as you can tell. Munchery, Sprig, Bento Now, they're basically restaurants, and like restaurants, they often have struggles. Seems like every week, something comes out about an issue or a concern. Now, Munchery is replacing its CEO with James Barriker, the former CEO of Simply Hired. Former CEO of Munchery, Tri Tran, is becoming the company's chief strategy officer. This changeup is all in hopes of dealing with the company's margin and food waste problems, and hopefully making it into a profitable company. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report airs every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on techcrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube. And guess what? We'll see you tomorrow.